Oh, that was close. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Links and welcome back to Beyond Home Kerbal Space Program, where today I have a very oddly coloured rocket, and uh, there's a reason for that, because I have... Yeah, and we're also gonna... <laughs> I was doing testing, we're gonna ignore this. I have an oddly coloured rocket today, because I was messing about with some... Oh, that stage has gone quick. I was messing around with some part effects. It's kind of like uh, Texas Unlimited. In fact, I believe it is Texas Unlimited. <laughs> Uh, but for restock, so I have shiny parts. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> that's some good shine. Anyway, today we are going to Voss. It's a moon of a planet called Vasto. It's an ice world. It's very far out. It's the furthest planet in the Tempest system, but I decided since I have a rocket of magnificent proportions and a, a heck ton of Delta V, I thought I'd go there. You know, I have a lot. I have, it said 11,000 on Kerbal Engineer in the editor, so I am, I am stoked for this mission, I'll tell you that much. And I have really, really buggered up my gravity turn. That is awful. <laughs> Look at that. 51,000. Oops. So for those of you who have seen my previous video, uh, not Kerbal Space Program, The Pedestrian, you would have seen that, uh, yes, schools are closed in the UK. I have a lot of time to do recording and mod work and stuff like that, and maybe more frequent uploads? Don't know yet. Don't know what's happening, but I'll keep you all updated, but rest be assured that I'm fine. I do not have the dreaded infection that shall not be named. <laughs> anyway, it's time we look inside this. That's the lander. Quite similar design to last time. I thought the last time it did really well. Now, it's a little bit uglier. I've used struts instead because they're lighter. However, I have 6,638 meters per second of delta V on that upper stage, and that is incredible. But yes, hopefully the shiny parts make for some nicer cinematics. That looks pretty good. Look at that. <laughs> I'm in love with it. So in terms of science, um, I've unlocked some more experiments. For example, I've unlocked the gravity scan and the seismic scan, I think. So I've got them on my ship as well. I've also unlocked the mining stuff, which means I'm going to be making bases shortly, maybe in the next episode. So let me know in the comments where you want me to put a base. I am thinking of Armstrong potentially because it's a very Minmus-like moon, which is like a brilliant gateway to like the outer solar system, if I can set stuff there. But obviously, we've got the lure base as well, stuff like that. But I am intrigued to know where you guys want me to actually go because I want to go everywhere because <laughs> that's the point of the mod. You're meant to go everywhere. But I want to see where you guys want to go, so let me know in the comments where you guys want to see me go. But before I go to the Kerbal system, I would like to make the station better. I've not forgotten about the station. That is still on the back burner, just so that I can unlock a few more things before that. I understand that the lander is the most garbage looking thing I have ever built in this game, but uh, if we ignore that, that's a pretty nice cinematic, you know. And this is where the shiny parts come in. Look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> anyway, I've used up this stage and I need to get to my nuclear stage, which has an awful lot of Delta V left. And we'll just yoink, <laughs> depart very, very slowly. Look at the shroud. Look at that. It's quite, it's quite hard to see, but that yeah, it just passed straight through my landing legs. Uh, yeah, we'll ignore that. The maneuver to slow me down is gonna cost 1,000 meters per second. If I can get into Vasto's atmosphere, however, I might be able to use the atmosphere to slow me down, but I don't know how much to rely on that, you know, because it's gonna be tough. So we have quite a wide set of experiments today. We've got 50 science from that, first of all. I can't do the seismic stuff, because obviously I'm not landed, but I can do the pressure scan, I can do the temperature scan. I think I can do the gravity scan. That's 40, that's still pretty good, you know, and I can do the crew reports on top of that. That's good, you know, and then the EVA reports and Bob, oh, Bob's gonna be doing some work again. Look at that EVA report, perfect. And now he gets to restore all of the experiments. And there it is, that's Vasto. If that's a planet for doing interstellar stuff on, that's a good planet to be doing it on. That is incredible. I'm really happy with how Vasto turned out. I spent ages trying to get an ice planet looking good. I, <laughs> I am very happy with the results. Now then, re-entry or entry into Vasto's atmosphere might be difficult. Now then, I think I've underestimated how thick its atmosphere is. Oh my, that is not looking great. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to point out a little bit. Look at all the heating. Look at all that heating. I'm not liking that. I'm still decreasing at about 100 per second. Probably about 200 per second, actually. Oh dear. Ah, it's tilting my craft though. <laughs> 100 per second. We're about to go back up. Hopefully, I can get some form of capture from this at least. We'll point retrograde again, because I think I'm on the way back up. This is looking promising. And we're going back up again. Okay, right. 
the thermals are fine. <laughs> There's a worrying amount of bars, but I think I think this will this will work out all right. Yeah, I've got myself an orbit. Probably a little too low for my liking, but I've got myself an orbit. There we go. I can just about do some of the experiments. It's okay. I can do some of them. I can do some of them. Ah, uh, I couldn't do the gravity scan. No. And there we go. I have an orbit. Brilliant. And here we are. This is Voss. One of the first planets that I actually applied the new terrain textures to. So it might look a little bit dated, but I think it looks pretty good so far, you know? And there are some very interesting plants on its surface that I want to show you guys. They look like shit on sticks. I really do like Voss. Uh, not many people do, actually. Not many people actually go there from what I've seen, but I really like it. You know, as a moon, I really like it. It's distribution of things. Look at that crack all the way down. That is... <sighs> Oh, that is peak. <laughs> That's great. I'm really happy with it. Not many people actually seem to go there, though. Now then, we have a couple of options for landing. I think this crater might be a nice place. Oh, wait a minute. I mean, I can buy him hop. I certainly have the capacity to do so, but I kind of want to let in this crack. So I'm just going to have my velocity just above it, and then I'm going to start killing it entirely. So that's the landing site over there, but I need to burn quickly, and I need to burn now, because look how slowly I'm decelerating. It's going to take a while. This engine has a thrust to weight ratio, if I can English properly, of 1.37, which isn't great. It's not... It's not bad, but it's not great either. So I think I'm just going to kill my velocity as fast as possible, and uh, my, I'll land wherever it takes me. And if I land here, I can actually go down to this slight lower region over there, which will probably be a different biome. All right, it is time to land, and they look beautiful. I mean, do they, though? <laughs> they look questionable. They might need a little bit of a uh, bit of an upgrade, you know, because now that I've learned Blender, I know what I'm doing, so I can model them a bit better. Oh, man. This is hard to land, you know. This is this one nuclear engine is really, really not liking it. I mean, I can land, sure, but it takes a while, and my thrust to weight ratio is awful. But I'm gonna do the softest landing I've probably ever done with such a. Oh, look at that! Look at that! 0.1. Not point. Okay, we're going back up again. That's kind of not satisfying, but look at that. That is a soft landing if I've ever seen one. I mean, I've, I've ruined it. I've not. Yeah. Yeah, I've ruined it. Never mind. Don't don't say things like that. <laughs> it's time to get Bob back out again to do some exploring. Now I can EVA and I can take a surface sample, which seems to be from my craft. But regardless, we'll go over here and we will sample whatever these things are. Sample alien organism. We don't know how these survive in the vacuum of space, but they are gooey to the top. A mysterious organic analysis while in space near Voss. And we are back at the lander. I think just for good measure, we're going to plant a flag. Now, my most recent subscriber was this guy called Elusive. On the flag, we're going to put Elusive was here with a smiley face. So again, if you want your name on one of the flags in one of the episodes, subscribe <laughs> at the right time, obviously. And there we go. We're back at the lander. Let's get back in. Let's do some more experiments. Actually, never mind. I just realized getting back in was pointless because Bob's got to restore everything, but at least my monopropellant is topped up. Oh, Bob, you idiot. Every time. <laughs> now, don't no, whilst I'm getting the science out of this, uh, tomorrow is the drop of Doom Eternal. Now, I know most of you here aren't Doom players, but if you happen to be interested in seeing me play through Doom Eternal tomorrow, subscribe. You know, you can stick around. Stuff like that. Anyway, restore the experiments. I need to restore that one as well. And we're going to do the seismic data. That's 45. This is a nice amount of science that I'm getting. Oh, Bob, you're... Oh, Bob. Bob, you're a failure. What is this? No. This is a lot of science to be getting from one moon. But it's it's the furthest out of the Tempest system, you know? We're going to be rich from science in a minute. <laughs> now Bob can get back into the craft. And I think he'll do a, a little biome hop as well. Now, the current biome that I'm in is Voss's high. Islands, which means if I go down to these cracks, I might be in the Midlands or the Lowlands. I think I'll just go down to there because that's a lot easier to land on. I think that's the best thing to do. Oh, that was aggressive. Um, that was awful. That was a bad landing. I was not paying attention and I'm about to tip. Am I actually about to tip over? Really? Oh, this is, this is gnarly. This is, oh, oh, oh. right then. <laughs> <laughs> There's time to land in the second area of Voss. Now I'm going to decrease at a fairly nice tame speed because I know these engines are awful. <laughs> it's getting very tense. Look how bad that looks. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> that was on the verge of tipping. <laughs> 
Oh man, even my RCS has to keep me up. From Voss's main gorge, I'm actually landed on one of the special biomes. Now there are special biomes, which if you look at the uh, description, it will tell you science bonuses will be awarded from returning science from Voss's main gorge, which is one of the reasons why I've landed here, because I get 1.5 times the science from doing experiments here, which is really cool. I think it's time we head back home, because I'm pushed for fuel at the moment. I have 5,003, I'm tipping over. <laughs> I, I was tipping over for a moment there. I figured maybe it's time to go back then. Look how slow this engine is again. It's so bad. What an angle to be ascending out. How embarrassing. <laughs> this engine, it's awful. And if I hit one of these things, I'm gone. I'm done for. I really need to be very careful because at the moment my altitude is decreasing. I need to I need to be careful. Oh, look at that though. We're on the way. We're on the way. We're on the way back. <laughs> Hopefully nothing pops out over there and whacks me. Almost got myself a... Uh, there we go. Look at that. Orbital speed. I should probably... Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> that was close. Okay, I've got an orbit, but I want to make sure that I can go all the way out. Yeah, now I'm not going to hit the surface. I didn't even intend for this to happen, but I have an assist which is going to take me all the way back to road. That is cool. Yes, please. Unfortunately, though, it's going to be the night side and I have fuel to spare. So naturally, I'm just going to waste it. So if I can get rid of all my fuel, I might be able to save the lander again, save a couple of funds. So you know, I might as well do this burn back to road. Road be looking heckin' thick again though. Again, these shiny parts. Let me know if you like the shiny parts. I kinda do, you know? It, it makes things a little bit harder to see, but I do like them. And I'll try and use them on a space plane or a station or something that's a little bit more interesting. Because at the moment, they're not very interesting, let's be honest. Now, so far, I'm not getting... Uh, never mind, I am getting atmospheric heating. Might as well slow myself down completely. I don't want to land in these mountains, and I also don't want to burn up. Um, I've had my fair share of temperature on Vasto. I don't want it again here, but it's kind of beautiful, you know? Those are some nice colours. I like that. Oh, that's not so good, though. Yes, come on. I just need to face backwards. Yeah, the shoots have deployed. <laughs> I just, I just want to land on the land. I think I'll be all right. I need to uh, bring those ones up though, just to slow me down. It's very likely that I'll lose an engine. All right, let's slow down. 11 meters per second is as low as I can go. I think I'm going to lose the engine, I'll be honest. <gasps> I didn't lose the engine. Yes. 1,064 total science. I got 985.8 from that. Oh, that is perfect. Oh, wow. And see, I've not been in here for a while. I, I did get some other stuff in the, in the downtime, but let's see what I can actually get. So what I did get is I got the advanced science. So I can use mining excavators. I can process resources, stuff like that. As well as that, I ended up getting electronics. Yeah, I did, which gives me the relay and also the seismic accelerometer. Now, I can get the rapier engine or I can get experimental science, which will give me some bigger holding tanks or I can get something else. I don't know what I want yet. So please let me know down in the comments if you have anything specific that I need to get because I don't think the rapier engine is gonna give me too much use for 1000 science just yet. So yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Kerbal Space Program Beyond Home. If you like that, smash that like button, subscribe. It does mean a lot. These videos do take a lot of effort to make. And I'll see you all in the next episode.